Hello everybody, and welcome back to No One But You. I'm Pogo, and we're going to move right along in this game. It's April 12th on a Thursday. After being dragged all the way to school, I followed Megumi into our classroom. As we entered, however, I could clearly hear two people arguing. Oh, it's her. Good morning, everyone! Despite the tense atmosphere, Megumi greeted the class, completely unaware of her own disastrous timing. Hmm. <laughs> Without saying another word, the brunette girl stormed off. I wonder what that was about. Uh, yeah, let's follow her. I'm interested to see what all the hubbub is about. Maybe I should see what all the fuss is about. Where did she go? I'm sure the girl stormed out this way. I can't see her anywhere. Unable to locate the girl in the hallways, I looked out the window towards the courtyard. Surely enough, I immediately spotted the girl who was sitting on a bench by a tree. I haven't seen many students go to that side of the school. Perhaps I should go and introduce myself. I looked around the courtyard as I headed outside, and before long I saw a maple tree. There were a couple of small benches underneath it, and on one of them sat the brunette. There she is. Um, hey there. What do you want? I saw you storm out of class just a minute ago. I thought I would see what's wrong. Do you even know? No, May. No, but this could be a good time for us to meet. My name is Hideki Neito. It's nice to meet you. And? Uh, this is the part where you introduce yourself to me. Why would I do that? Just go away, creep. Ouch, this girl has a sharp tongue. I was beginning to think I might be a ladies' man after my meetings with Megumi and Chinatsu, but this girl... What's with the attitude? I'm here to check up on you, bitch! At least try to be nice. I'll be nice if you just leave me alone. Wow, you sure do live up to the term fiery redhead. What did you just say? N nothing Not only does she have a sharp tongue, this girl is actually pretty scary. I don't know what it is, but for some reason I feel like she might actually try to hurt me. <laughs> the brunette girl The brunette girl let out a long sigh. You aren't going to stop until I tell you my name, are you? Fine, my name is Yui Komini. Happy? Oh, Komini-san. Forget the formalities. We aren't in a meeting. Just call me Yui. Um, okay, Yui. So, what was that all about? I mean... You basically just walked out of the classroom. It was nothing. I just had a small fight with the class idiot. It didn't seem very small to me. Like, I care what you think. Just forget about it. What are you even doing here anyway? Isn't this your first day or something? Oh crap, you're right. I missed enough classes already. I'll head back now. But what about you? Aren't you coming to class? No, I just want to sit here by myself. I sure you can afford to just skip classes like that? Stop asking me questions and go already. All right, all right, all right, all right. Settle down. Everybody, just settle down. All right. 
All right. All right. Yui looked away as I left the courtyard. What was her problem? What did you run off to all of a sudden? Ah, oh, now that's more like it. A friendly tone accompanied by a happy smile. I wanted to see what was wrong with that girl. Oh, you mean Yui? That's just how Yui is. Rio enjoys making her mad. Rio? That guy over there with the annoying smile! Huh. I wasn't expecting Megumi to say something negative about that guy. Maybe she isn't nice to everybody after all. Either that, or this guy is a real piece of work, if you know what I mean. A real piece of work. Whoa. Oh, here's Rio. Hey, new kid! Ugh, annoying smile guy is calling for me. Should I ignore him? Hello! Go away! Go away! Go away! Can you hear me? This guy doesn't know when to give up, does he? I guess I have no choice. Yes! Let's be friends! Uh, what? Me and you! Friends! What do you say? I ignore the guy, and he wants to be my friend. This guy seems way too pushy, or maybe just desperate. You don't even know who I am! Well, you seem like the kind of guy who knows his way around the ladies, if you know what I mean! I mean, this is only your second day here and you've already tamed Megumi. Excuse me? Oh, excuse you, I guess. Excuse me, excuse you. Let's excuse everybody. No, I mean that is a good thing. How could I possibly interpret what you said as a good thing? Oh, this could be trouble. He's already chased off Yui. I don't want Megumi to run off too. I better change the direction of this conversation before these two get their claws out. So, so, uh, you say you want to be my friend because I, uh, know my way around the ladies, but weren't you getting along with that girl Yui just a minute ago? If you call getting smacked on the head getting along, then sure. Smacked on the head? What could you have said for her to get that mad? Not that I couldn't guess. Given how quickly he pissed off Hachi. Nothing, really. Yui actually transferred here last week, but every time I talk to her, sh she seems to get mad. Maybe you shouldn't say anything to upset her. I didn't say anything this time! Well, Megumi, said you enjoy pissing her off. And I get the distinct feeling that everything this guy says pisses someone off. What? Megumi, did you really say that? Isn't it true? No, I don't enjoy doing that. I'm not a jerk, you know. She just doesn't like anything I say. Fancy that. I don't believe you. You must have done something. Nothing, I swear. Megumi shot a deadly glare at Rio. Sheesh, what the heck do you do? Well, it was like this. Everyone, this is the new student I mentioned earlier. Yuri Komini. Please get along. <clears throat> As the teacher introduced Yui, the entire class remained silent. Yui didn't say a word. She just stood there, enduring the stares of the entire class. Wow, look at that hair! Someone get the fire extinguisher! Now call the fire brigade! Remember, duck and cover! Stay low to the ground and try not to breathe!
Nobody dared to laugh with Rio or to add any comments of their own. Rio nervously looked around the classroom for approval, but no matter which way he turned, nobody made a sound. Get, get it? Because fire is a, um, um, uh. Yui's glare was directed straight at Ryu. It was as if she was burning a small hole through his forehead with her eyes. No, I don't get it. Please, enlighten me. No, no, it, it was nothing. It was just a joke. Oh, a joke, huh? So you think you're funny? No, I was just, you know, breaking the ice. You think you're so funny, don't you? Huey slowly started walking towards Rio. No! I don't think that, I swear! Don't lie to me, Joker boy! Anyone, please? Everyone looked away, including the teacher. I'll show you what's funny, you little. What the heck happened after that? It's it's better if you don't know. No kidding. I can still see the fear in his eyes. I'll make sure not to make fun of Yui's hair color then. Good idea. Just as we finished talking, our teacher entered the classroom. We better head to our seats now. Yeah, you're right. We both walked out to our seats and class started momentarily. As school ended for the day, I approached the cutoff point for the two distinct routes I can take home. There are likely other routes I could take, but so far I found just the two, across the bridge and through the alley, or past Megumi's apartment block. Ah, decisions, decisions. I guess I'll go by the bridge since I didn't get the chance to this morning. Hmm, this is a really nice view. I can see why Shinatsu likes this place. As I approached the bridge, I could hear the soothing sound of the river ahead. And then, once again, I saw her. Hey, Misaki-san! The girl looked at me puzzled. Why would you call me that? Just call me Shinatsu. Um, okay then. Shinatsu sure was blunt about that. You got here quickly. School only just ended. Today I just wanted to rest and look at the scenery. It's relaxing to stare out in the sun, huh? Shinatsu simply looked at out the sky and focused on the city beyond the horizon. Maybe I should sit here and relax too. The last couple of days have been pretty eventful, so I should chill out while I can. Mind if I stay here for a while? No, not at all. Tanatsu smiled and moved over a little. As we stared out into the sunset, I allowed my mind to go blank. I felt as though my new life truly was beginning. Shinatsu, on the other hand, appeared to be wearing an indifferent look on her face. Her expression was so forced that I could see wrinkles on her forehead. You don't have to try so hard to not smile. Shinatsu looked over at me, confused, and laughed. Ha ha ha. Nothing gets by you, does it, Hideki? Don't underestimate me. After the words left her mouth, Chinatsu went back to staring at the sunset, this time while smiling. And as we sat there together, time continued to fly by. By the time Chinatsu and I realized how late it had gotten, the sun had already set it. 
Wow, it's gotten pretty late. We should start heading home. Yeah, good idea. Thanks for staying with me today. I should be the one saying that to you. I stood up as I spoke, then walked in front of Shinatsu. Give me your hand, I'll help you up. Uh, oh, okay. I grabbed Shinatsu's hand and pulled her to her feet. Come on, I'll walk you home. It is pretty dark out here. It's okay, you don't have to. I know I don't have to, I just want to. Well, you seem pretty insistent, and I know you won't take no for an answer. But the walk is rather far, so I'll only let you walk me halfway there. It's okay. Let me walk you the whole way there. Yeah. Please, Hadake. I don't want to inconvenience you too much. Shinatsu seemed pretty adamant about this. Alright, I guess that's fine. But be careful. Chinatsu turned around and we started walking. After walking Chinatsu halfway to her house, I began heading home myself. As I walked towards my street, however, I realized I was not alone. Akiku! You can take my money, please just don't hurt me. Huh? Megumi, is that you? I don't know why you've turned to a life of crime, but please, spare me! A life of crime? How rude! All I did was call out to you! Maybe so, but I'm pretty sure you just woke up the whole goddamn neighborhood in the process. Use your inside voice, okay? Oh, I suppose you're right. Sorry, I just got a little too excited. I wasn't expecting to see you out this late. I'm surprised to see you here too. What are you doing out here? A girl shouldn't be out alone this late at night. Oh, Hideke. This is so old fashioned. Besides, I can protect myself. I don't doubt it. Even so, I still don't like the idea of leaving Megumi out here alone. I should probably take her home as well. Why not? I've already walked one girl part way home today, so what difference does one more make? Sometimes I... S well, uh, hit the button. Something about surprising myself, I don't know. Something. Oopsie. Hey, your apartment isn't far away from here, right? I can walk you there if you want. Really? I, I mean, I don't know. If that's what you want. It's up to you. I don't mind either way, you know. But if you want to walk with me, that's... Then that that's okay. And if you don't want to, then... Uh, 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 I don't know. Heh. <laughs> now she won't stop talking. You suck at having your excitement, Hachi. It's fine. I can walk you home. I'm not in a rush anyway. Awesome. Let's go. Megumi smiled and forcefully grabbed my arm, intertwining it with hers. Oh, okay. Again with the hugging. Is it just me after all? This is it, right? Yep, this is the place. Not bad. It must be a rent-controlled student dorm or something. This seems like a nice place. Which room are you staying in? Megumi looked at me shyly. Oh my, how forward of you, Hideke. I hope you aren't taking what Ryo said too seriously. What Ryo said? What is she? No, no, wait. I didn't mean it like that. Though I guess it was pretty inappropriate. Sorry, Megumi. No, no, it's okay. 
You did take me by surprise, though. When you offered to walk me home, I certainly didn't think you had that in mind. Oh god, I've really put my foot in my mouth this time. First Shinatsu thinks I'm a stalker, then Ryo calls me a playboy, and now Megumi thinks I'm a sleaze. I'm going to need to hire a PR firm to recover from this one. Ha! <laughs> anyway, I'll be going now. See you tomorrow, Adike! Yeah, see ya. Oh, and by the way, I live on the third floor. Well, that was pretty vague. Not that I was expecting a proper answer, or at least not after Megumi pointed out my blunder. Still, the third floor, huh? No hide again. Bad. Bad hide again. Bad. 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 Bad hide again. Bad. Bad. Bad hide again. Put your libido on hold and go home already. Hey, Mom, I'm home. Mom? I walked into the kitchen and found a note on the table. I already made dinner, but you were late. Just heat it up in the microwave. Love ya. Well, that was considerate. I guess Mom is too busy working for us to have dinner tonight. God. Oh well, thank you for the feast, Mother. Was that half as lame as it sounded? Yes, it was. No, that was not cool. I heated up the food, then returned to my room after eating. As soon as I finished eating, I decided to spend the rest of the evening playing video games. True to form, however, I quickly lost track of time. Man, I'm getting tired. What time is it? I turned away from my TV and looked at the clock. Well, it's 3 a.m. already? How is that even possible? It's like every time I touch the controller, time just flies by. I should get some sleep before the sun rises. On that note, I turned the TV off and went to bed. Beep, 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 click. Damn it, Alarm, why do you hate me so much? I can't even open my eyes properly, and yet you expect me to get up? I should get out of bed, though. This is only going to become harder the longer I stay put. On the other hand, this bed is pretty darn comfortable. Maybe just five more minutes? No! If I fall asleep now, there's no power in the world that will be able to wake me up again. Out of bed, Hattie After somehow getting the best of my inner demons, I went downstairs to start eating breakfast with Mom. You know, you should stay up all night playing video games when you have school. Huh? What makes you think I was playing games? I'm a responsible man. I'm actually offended, Mother. I heard you shouting and you kept stomping your feet on the ground. It was a really hard boss fight, okay? Just try not to sleep in class. I would never, ever, ever do that. Anyway, I'll be going now. See you after school, Mom. Bye, honey. Well, on that note, we are going to stop right there for this episode. I hope you enjoy it. I'm having a lot of fun, and I really like the story and the characters in this game. So, if there are other games you'd like to see me play, just uh, let me know in the comments down below. Like and subscribe. And until next time, I will see you all later.